So I have a regular ruler here. If I drop this bouncy ball on it, you can see it easily falls off. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to set a piece of paper over it. I can even throw it pretty hard. <laughs> it literally doesn't go anywhere. But just take the paper off, it's gone. So how is it doing this? Well first let's check if it's just the weight of the paper on it, balancing it. So let's crumble up the paper, put it on the back, let's try the same thing. Whoa. <laughs> nope. <laughs> So it's definitely not the weight of the paper. In fact, I can probably even put a pretty significant weight on it. So if it's not the weight of the paper, how does setting a piece of paper on it keep the ruler on the table? To give us another hint, let's try it on this perforated strainer here. Let's do our same experiment again. So without the paper, flies right off. Then with the paper, so this can help us understand that it's the air pressure that's playing a role in this. So when you lay a piece of paper like this on the table, there's barely any air trapped underneath it. But when you try to pick it up from the center like this, you're increasing the volume of the air underneath. You're trying to pick it up. But because there's no good air channels around the edges, you can't suck in any air to increase that volume. And so what it does is it lowers the pressure. And so the atmospheric pressure pushes down on it and holds it in place. So basically what you're doing is creating a paper suction cup. Okay, first we'll do it in air. Three, two, one. Stays up just fine. Now we'll suck out the air and do it in vacuum. Okay, now we're at a pretty good vacuum in there. Minus one atmospheres. Let's see what happens now. Three, two, one. easily pops off of there. <laughs> Look at that. So with no atmosphere in there to hold the paper down, the ruler just pops right off. 